Welcome to story time! <laughs> um, I'm fully aware that I have mixed light here, so there's blue stuff coming from outside, there's orange here, but I'll just roll with it now because rock and roll, I'm still in Seattle, um, and I'm going to tell you this this story uh, from Seattle. Um, the, I, the, the story itself is from a long time ago, um, <laughs> but yeah, so anyway. What, what, I can't even talk today. So last story time, I told you about the first stop that I've been to after I left Germany in 2005, which was England. Um, and after that, um, by the way, this is not going to go chronicle all these things, but uh, I just chose these first two to be chronicle, uh, in, in chronological order. So after I was living in England in 2005 to like August 2006, I did move to uh, Ireland. Um, it was in the middle of the Celtic Tiger. Um, so there was a lot of jobs available and I got a job after only one week living in Dublin um, and I stayed for 14 months. Uh, that's it. <laughs> um, I had two different jobs. They were both like project based. So they had a, a expiration date. So it was basically just one summer that I spent in, in Dublin. Um, because it was just a little over a year and I made some friends there and the <laughs> Most of my friends at that time uh, are made through MySpace. Do you remember MySpace? Yes, exactly. So it was the thing before Facebook. Uh, so I was quite active on, on MySpace um, because I was fairly lonely in Dublin. I didn't have any friends. One, Well, I have to say like the person that um, was already in Dublin and actually told me to get there because they were looking for German speakers like crazy um, was my best friend who was living there. But he left at some point. So I was then left on my own. Um, left to make my own friends basically. So MySpace was a really good tool for that and I still don't understand why Facebook doesn't do that. Um, it was amazing on, on MySpace you could actually say I'm looking for people in this place, uh, gender, age, right? So you had like that search function. Um, obviously you could exclude yourself from that, blah, 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 blah. But so because of that, I could find people in like my age range to make friends with. So it wasn't a dating site. I mean, could be, but um, it was more to make friends. And it worked really well with me. And um, I think the first friend I made in Dublin through MySpace was Franzi. Um, uh, so a German girl. So I was like, okay, there's a German girl. She seems cool. Um, she seems to like rock music as well. And uh, she's living here in Dublin. So I started writing with her. Uh, and then we met in a pub, um, and which ended up being like the uh, go-to pub uh, for all those months. Um, and I made another friend that was not, um, well, Let's say there was an, another one through MySpace, Michael. Um, he's not in this picture. Oh yeah, the picture. Ta-da! Here's the picture. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that in a bit. So Michael uh, was also a friend I made through MySpace, and then I, and I made a lot of other friends um, that throughout the time that uh, weren't from Dublin, but they came to Dublin visits. They're still friends nowadays on Facebook. Uh, and I remember at some point when Franzi said, uh, "You have to get Facebook. That's so cool." And I'm like. Nah, I don't need Facebook. I have MySpace. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was it was quite fun. So I really, really liked MySpace because it brought me a lot of uh, exciting experiences and I made friends through it and it was really good. Um, so yeah, this pub that we went to, um, I actually found through another friend called Anna um, and she's in this picture. She's the one with the darker hair. It's really difficult to see though. The one that gives me a kiss in the lower, <laughs> the lower picture, um, and she was a colleague in the first company I worked in in Dublin, and so I became friends with her because um, she was awesome. She was like really like uh, quirky, lively uh, girl. Like I think she was like eight years, nine years younger than me or something. But we got along really well because like I was from, I'm more like the the quiet one, and she was like. <laughs> always like like just like her hair like like really curly and, and fun um so yeah we became friends and uh, her ex or her boyfriend at the time told us about this pub called O'Sullivan's in Dublin um so that was where we always met that's where I met Francie then that's where I met Michael that's where we always hung out and um the musician that was playing there at the time was Brian Brody who is still nowadays a good friend of mine and he's still 
a musician in Dublin, not just in pubs, but he also has like a lot of solo projects, um, recorded a CD, has a band now. Um, I'm still in touch with him as well. Um, and we were there every night he was playing. So it was like Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, I think. It was like three nights a week we were there and we were dancing, we were singing. I learned all the Irish songs. <laughs> um, <laughs> The thing is, we didn't have a lot of money because the, the, the work we had wasn't paying like too well and Dublin was fairly expensive already at the time. Um, so most of the time we were just drinking water. <laughs> so we just asked at the bar to get tap water with ice. Um, and once in a while, got a beer, you know. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. And we just like always had our corner there and we were dancing and we just like gathered other people around us. And, and because I was there so much and I learned all those Irish songs that I can still sing along to today. Uh, I was named uh, honorary Irish by a, by a lot of my Irish friends because <laughs> I can sing all the songs, you know. Um, so yeah, it was it was a pretty, pretty good memory and, and because we were like, going really hard just like um, partying it out there at O'Sullivan's and other bars and pubs and so on and we made more and more friends. We became like a group of people. Um, it was very special. And yeah, so when I left Dublin, uh, which was because I got a job at IntelliPoker back in Germany, which is a story for another day, but that was for me, it was a weird time because for me it was sort of like failure because I went back to Germany, um, which I didn't want to. But at the same time, um, it was a daughter company of PokerStars that I really, 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 really wanted to work for. So. I knew I had to endure Germany <laughs> um, and do that so that I can get to Pokestas, which, spoiler alert, actually worked out in the end. But yeah, so I, was, I left uh, Dublin and it was all very sad. So this, this picture that you see where, where Anna gives me a kiss, I think that was my, my leaving party. I'm not 100% sure if it was that, but um, we're all very sad. There was a lot of tears um, being spilled of me leaving. But as a silver lining to it, um, because these guys, um, I mean, they're all not living in, in Dublin anymore, but when they were, um, they were still hanging out and they, they gathered like more people around them, people that I didn't know, so they added them to the group. And then when I, <laughs> when I went back to Dublin some, someday, like, I don't know, like, I don't know when it was, you know, I always went back to Dublin for the Irish Poker Open around Easter. Um, so I always went back to try and meet up with these guys. And uh, at some point we all hung out. There's all these like German girls with like, basically I had started this group. And then Franzi said, oh, that's Christine. She's the original German. <laughs> and I love that so much. So it's basically a really, really sweet memory. Um, and they made me that card um, that you see here um, when I left. So it's a very special time. And there's definitely more pictures of that um, and more, and I think there's even some videos of, of that. But um, yeah, very special time with those girls and Michael. <laughs> um, so it was, yeah, it was really special and I really um, liked this card that they made for me. But um, yeah, it will always be in my heart and not as a physical item anymore. So that's the story of my friends in Dublin. Um, oh yeah, and I, I, should, I should mention that um, the title, what's written is that I remember that summer in Dublin, that's the beginning of a, a song, or it's actually the chorus of a song that Brian Brody was singing on a regular basis. So it was like, I remember that summer in Dublin, and the Liffey as it stank like hell, and all the young people walking down Grafton Street, everybody's looking so well and so on and so forth. So so because of that, it was, I remember that summer in Dublin because we only experienced one summer together. That's it for story time today. Um, I'll be back with more stories. Let me know what you think. Um, do you have a similar story about friendship or Dublin, maybe? <laughs> uh, let me know what you think and let me know uh, if there's anything I can improve uh, on these kind of uh, little stories of my life. I hope you enjoy this. All right, bye.